Hi, it's Nicole McWork with this week's From Start to Finish video. This week's layout features using a lot of photos and a lot of strips of paper. Now, you, I guess I'll go through the supplies first. I picked out a couple of uh, shades of cardstock, the blue, because I kind of thought it picked up the blue in those clouds, and the polka dots and the Bella Boulevard papers, and a basic craft cardstock. Then I had some Bella Boulevard papers, this cute cloud print. I love the little patterns in the clouds. This polka dot paper. Both of them are from a Bella Boulevard collection that's a little older. Then I um, picked out this October afternoon paper. It's from, I believe, the new Campfire collection. And I'm just going to use the bird's border because I think the leaves look a little too fallish. A couple of other kind of solids from the October afternoon lines from a couple of different lines. The, the um, new campfire and an older seaside. I printed all of my photos in this photo strip. More on that in just a second. And then I pulled several October afternoon label stickers. Um, I think I'll use a few different elements from those. For my photo strip, in Photoshop, I am going to take my photo here and I'm just, here is the work or the uh, collage in progress, I guess I should say. There's a bunch of one by one and then some one by two underneath it for photos that I felt needed to be just a little bit longer. You could combine those in any way you wish. This is just kind of how I line mine up. And then over on, or I'm going to, uh, crop my photo rather and I'm going to choose the area in which I want to crop and just pull down in one of the corners and then I'll click the crop button and you can see it makes it pretty small then I'm just going to click and drag it right over to my new document which is an eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper that's just the size of photo paper that I have and it's a fairly large collage so this is going to be fine I'm going to change my crop size to one inch by two inches and I'm going to crop this photo here, move it where I want it, and then I'll hit the crop button again. And now I have a cute little one by two inch photo. Again, I'm just going to click and drag it and I can place it wherever I like in the collage. And so I have a few more spaces to fill in, but this is pretty much what it looks like. And then I will flatten the image and print it as one photo. And here is what it looks like all printed out. And I'm just going to go ahead and cut this and I'm just leaving a thin white border all the way around. I think especially with using this many photos it really kind of helps them stand out from the background of my page. And I like to leave the white border. It's an instant mat. I do that with almost everything that I that I use. Now if you didn't want to use this many photos you could just as easily adapt this page design to maybe three photos or two or or several skinny ones or something like that. You could use it all in all kinds of different ways. Now I'm going to just go ahead and cut some strips from my pattern papers. I'm going to cut the cute little bird border from the October afternoon paper. And I'm going to kind of lay out all of my papers and things and see what I want to do here. Can't quite decide what I want to do with that blue cardstock. And I end up not using it. Um, I just, it was kind of overpowering, I guess. I couldn't quite make it work with the design that I was, was going for. So you can see I'm just working my way, seeing what I like. I'm just going to go ahead and trim about four inches from this cloud paper and I'm going to crop it to 10 inches. I'm going to crop the bird border to 10 inches as well. I'm going to do all of my strips of paper at, at 10 inches. And I didn't want to cut right through the center of that bird so I cut just a little bit off that end and just a tiny bit off the other end so that I wouldn't cut through the center of any of those cute little birds on the border. And now I'm going to cut a strip from 
this October afternoon paper. It's a very faint blue and cream colored kind of herringbone design and it's hard to see in the video. Hopefully it'll show up a little bit better in the photos. Cut a thin, cut about a two inch, two by ten inch strip from the polka dots. And now I have most of my elements ready and I can kind of start playing with all my paper strips and seeing what I like. Lay them out here in the order that I think I'm going to want to use them. Grab my photos. And I've kind of decided on an offset design where I'm going to adhere them to the cards, the craft card stock, as you see here, with a thicker border on the left and a really thin border on the right. So that's kind of what I have so far. Let's see if I like that and all. I keep moving strips around, and I've decided I'm, I did move some of the strips around. I moved the journaling up and, and things like that. I did die cut my title. You could choose to use stickers or something something else. I have done all of my pages for 2010, all my month and review pages, and I've used these titles, so I want to continue with that theme for my album. And now I'm just using a Colossal Circle Cutter because I need some larger circles than what I have punches for. I could also use my Silhouette to die cut those or some other die cutting machine, but I just kind of revert back to my old reliable colossal. So I'm just looking for something to kind of mat my title on and I'm gonna die cut a couple of large circles. I'm using some doodle bug petite print papers and I chose a couple that kind of coordinated with the clouds in that Bella Boulevard paper. And I'm cutting a larger circle from this blue or darker blue, I guess. I think this is the blue jean color. And it just was too similar, I guess. I, I wasn't terribly happy with it. It was almost too blue for my design for the rest of the, the papers and things I chose. And I thought that it just didn't really work. So I'm going to switch that out here in a second. adjusting a few of those paper strips. I haven't adhered anything yet. I always like to wait a little bit to adhere anything until I'm sure that's where I want to put it. It saves me from having to rip up too much later or fix too much. So I'm going to lay that circle to the side and I have this scrap of seaside collection paper from October afternoon and I thought that it worked with my other papers perfectly. I love the colors in it, so I'm just going to cut a half circle out of it using the Colossal. Because it's going to be tucked behind the border, you won't see that it's not a complete circle, so that is going to work perfectly, and I use up my scrap of paper. And I also want to note that I made sure that it's my circles are not covering up or any of the birds, like halfway. All of the birds you see are the full birds. It's just kind of a nice way to keep the theme flowing. I'm going to adhere a little sticker there and use my tiny attacher to secure it. My photo strip was a little bit skewed, so I'm going to pull that up and make sure it's straight. And I'm going to add a or a little October afternoon sticker to one of the borders below the photo. Just little things like that that kind of jazz up the page without adding um, too much. And then I have this cute little bird sticker and I really want to use him and I can't quite figure out where I want to put him. Um, and then I decided I kind of thought he'd be cute right in front of that little phrase sticker. So I used some pop dots just to give him a little bit of dimension and I'm going to adhere him right in front of my phrase. And then I have a whole bunch of cute little word stickers and I kind of thought that I would place them on the photos 
and I started to place them on the photos, but then I decided I didn't like that because I couldn't really find good places to put them. The photos are so small. So I ended up not doing that. And instead, I placed the word stickers in the clouds at the top of the page, and I really liked how that looked. Plus, it kind of just added a little something to the design. So I'm just kind of randomly placing several little, several of these words stickers, word stickers, excuse me, to the clouds. And then I took a piece of a petite print from Doodlebug and punched some little mini hearts. I'm just using some glue dots and adhering those right to my sticker words. And it just kind of jazzes them up, plus it ties in some red that you see throughout other pieces of the layout. Stamped my date on another October afternoon sticker and tucked that underneath my border. And I'm using some Tim Holtz mini clips along the border. And I popped these off because I thought I wanted to see how they looked down below. And I like that, but I decided I wanted some up at the top too to kind of match. So I went ahead and put some more up there. Just a nice little flat embellishment adds a nice touch. I'm going to add a few more hearts at the bottom. And I didn't share um, this step, but I did punch a border then from that Doodlebug Petite Print Paper that I originally had used for the large circle. And I placed it along the edge, the long edge of my design on both sides. I'm going to just keep placing some of those little hearts there, there at the bottom randomly. I like to do things in threes. So here are some close-ups of the finished page. For more information, please visit twopeasinabucket.com on January 26, 2011. Thanks for watching.